No more. It is I, Join the one with the mega eyes. It makes people like and subscribe and comment down below your favorite part of the video that you have that you haven't even watched yet because today we're checking out my rare eyes make everyone obsessed with me it's classic it's relatable you know i chalk up most of my success to my rare eyeballs as well it's more common than you'd think hey i'm celine but my dad calls me Cece. my parents were always super rich oh, oh i see i get it <laughs> i see where you're going with this cc because eyeballs yeah, I get it. They had it all. Huge mansions, fancy cars, even their own helicopter. Mom really believed in keeping away- Yeah, because look, <laughs> in the My Story Animated Universe, you either have a terrible home life or you're filthy mega rich. There is nothing else. There are no other options. Bad luck. So she did all the crazy superstitious stuff, like avoiding the number 13 and hating black cats. The day I hey, was no. born though, that mom almost dropped me when the nurse handed me to her. What is that? Look at her eyes. She's Satan. Oh, jeez. Yeah, no, look, I'm on your side about this. That is, that, you gave that to literally the devil. Get this devil away from me. Well, yeah, my eyes were a little different than others. One was blue and the other was green. But for some reason, my... Oh, we got heterochromia or whatever. Is that what it's called? Ah, she grew up to be the dumb man actor. Stupid mom thought it was the devil and meant bad luck. Growing up, mom never really cared about me. Hey, can I just say props to you, my animated story, for actually like <laughs> making the video about the title this time. I gave my mom an invitation to the party that our teacher was having to celebrate Mother's Day. And mom said, to celebrate what? Giving birth to the devil? My life was way better before you. Your teacher is stupid and doesn't know what it's like to raise an enemy. Oh, uh, okay. First of all, rude. Second of all, we're actually um both. We've, we've ticked off both of the My Animated Story boxes. Terrible family life and filthy rich. Yes, you're my enemy. Just get lost. I went crying and dad hugged you're me my and enemy? said he would attend the party himself. You're... <laughs> hey, look, that's not where you want to be. Your mom looking at you straight in, the, in your weird eyes. <laughs> it's straight in your, in your amazing rare eyes and saying, you are my enemy. When I was in the third grade, dad got me a puppy and I was super happy. But the moment mom saw her, she took her immediately. <gasps> you can't have nice things. You got weird eyes. This puppy is mine. I need someone to make me feel like a mom since I don't see you as a daughter. She kept the puppy for her. <laughs> <laughs> this puppy is mine because you're not, okay? This, this dog is literally replacing you. But a week later, the puppy died. Mom went ballistic and said oh, it was geez. my fault. I got mad and threw my ball at her, but it hit the TV and broke it. Oh God, I told you this. They always do this when they're like, ah, oh, my crazy parents think that I'm bad luck or whatever. And then they proceed to actually just genuinely be bad luck and do everything wrong. <laughs> Girl is trouble for me. She's cursed. When I was in the seventh grade, she started taking me to shamans to have my curse lifted. I was sick mm. of her nonsense. So I Good decided move. to get back at mom. Before the shaman could start her chance, I climbed on her table and went all Tarzan, screaming something in Latin. Mom got- How do you know Latin? That's it. Okay. All right. I'm just saying, maybe we are dealing with the actual devil. If you just happen to know some Latin straight out of the womb, like that's- <laughs> That's a little bit suspicious. I got super scared and the shaman <laughs> ran out of her own freaking house. It was hilarious. But mom was more convinced than ever that I was evil. She even told my teachers at a parent-teacher meeting and my classmates' parents. <laughs> How does that go down? Uh, it was scheduled meeting. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, hi. What, what do you have to say? Right. I'm just here to tell you that my daughter is actually evil. I think she's cursed and uh, she's the devil incarnate. So just, just watch out for that one. I don't know whether you want to get like a like an assistant aide or something to to uh, to deal with her. It's it's told them not to sit with me. I was alone there. When I was in the 10th grade, my parents had set up a new office in LA. So they decided to move there for a couple of years. 
I was super excited because I wanted a fresh start Los at school Angeles. where no one would call me a freak. So the first thing I did was get myself some cool blue contact lenses. Surely people just think it's cool. Like, I cannot sympathize with literally anyone who looks at someone with heterochromia and goes, Oh, freak! Your first instinct has to be, well, that's cool. LA was so big and lively. I loved it there. On my first day of school, I received a warm welcome and even compliments on my eyes. <laughs> yeah, 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 thanks. Yeah, they're not real. <laughs> a couple of days later, I saw the poster for cheerleading auditions and I decided to try my luck. And to my amazement, I got in. The captain of the cheerleading team, nice. Tiffany, was super friendly to me. I want you nice. on the squad, girl. Right. Mm, yeah, we want you on the squad, uh, but only if your eyes stay blue. Like, guaranteed, if your eye, if one of your eyes changes for some, like, weird reason, uh, you're going to be out of the team, just so you know. Just like that, I joined the group of the most popular girls in the school. I couldn't believe it. My life was getting... It happens literally every single animated story. Somehow they all happen to join the popular group of the girls at the school. And it's great until it isn't. Better and better over the weeks. That is, until Tiffany offered to drive me home one day. And I happily said yes. But when we got home, we saw mom outside and she looked scary. She started calling out to me. And she, uh, looked... She looks scary. Yeah, well, your mom is scary. She's terrifying. She stole your puppy from you and then let it die. So she doesn't, she's not Non-stop. great. Stop. I turned to Tiffany. That's our maid. But mom fired her because she's a thief. She keeps coming here like a crazy person. Ew. <laughs> okay. It's okay, Tiffany. Good. You can go Good now. Stuff. I'll deal with her. When Tiffany drove off, I walked to mom. What now, mom? Did you say to your dad that you liked my new car? You did? That's why it got burned today. What? Why did your limo have like two doors? That's a weird car. Your car got burnt you today? You useless bad luck girl. Mom, that's the stupidest <laughs> thing I've Good ever insult. heard. Just leave me alone. I left her screaming and walked away. Just then I bumped straight into a boy who was- Oh, Haba Haba. What's his name? Something basic, something yeah, I'm gonna go with like Jason. I feel like my thought's always Jason. It's gotta be a Jason. I'm just, you know what? I'm not even gonna list more than one name. His name's Jason. It's also running like crazy. He held my hand and said, run. So I ran as fast as I could. After a few minutes, I stopped him and I said, why are we running? Richard, Alex, Brayden, Isaac, Charles, Johnny, Glenn, Matthew. It's gotta be one of them. Oh, from my crazy dad. He thinks I brought him bad luck and he's furious now. And I just ran away. Oh, by the way, I'm your neighbor. Oh. Yeah, but, you know, the people want to know. What's your name? That's a lot of things we have in common. A crazy parrot. <laughs> You're my neighbor? What? We have that. This is what a coincidence. I'm your neighbor. <laughs> and the same neighborhood. Oh, yeah. I know your mom. She is. Oh, wow. You're... She is. Oof. She is something else. <laughs> You talk about my mom like that, dude. That's weird. She is, she, you don't want to go there. Her eyes, they're so beautiful. I've never met someone with odd eyes before. And then it hit me. My lens must have fallen out. Oh, jeez. Uh. You don't have to be nice. I know I look like a freak. What? No, you look unique. Sure, sure, sure. But what's your name, dude? He then came close to me and gently kissed me on the cheek. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. It's our secret. I he felt kissed you on the cheek? That's just weird. I mean, that's coming on pretty straight. You literally just met this man. He's like, oh, I complimented your eyes. And people usually don't like them. So I get to kiss you on the cheek. That's a little bit. That's a little bit sketch. Butterflies in my stomach hearing his words. And from that day on, Sean and I started to- Sean! Wait, did someone say Sean? Did we get a Sean? Uh... I don't think we did. I should have known. Of course, he's a Sean. To hang out in school, too. I found out later that Sean was Tiffany's cousin. Oh, you're hanging with the sexiest cousin I have. <laughs> Whoa, now. <laughs> okay, Tiffany. All right. Yeah. Can I, can I get weirdest things Tiffany could say for uh, 10 points? Lucky you. I'm also dating this hot college guy, and he's rich. It's not like I'm a gold digger, but I made sure he was rich. Tiffany was such a cool friend and being with- Yeah, 
No, dude, Tiffany is great. Tiffany's such a hoot. Oh, good, good job, dude. That is definitely the hottest cousin I have. <laughs> I've actually, I'm actually dating one just like it. <laughs> Her and the cheerleading squad, I felt on top of the world. We were the queen bees and I felt invincible. One day we were in the bathroom fixing our makeup when a girl came in and walked towards- That's a teacher. She just got the, that's such stall, teacher vibes. But Tiffany stopped her. Hey weirdo, leave the bathroom. We're having a private talk here. But, but I really need to pick- oh, I'm just waiting for the moment where the contact falls out and it all comes crumbling down because Tiffany doesn't like cool things. Hey, uh, didn't you hear what I said? Go away. Hey, Cece, was I clear enough? Mm, yes, she said leave. Why are you still here? Be oh, no, 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 no. That's that always, that's always sad. When it infects, it infects the nice person. Because I need to go to the bathroom? Yeah, no, like, she said leave. Yes. I tried to drag her away, but I forgot that I was still holding the eyeliner in my hand and I accidentally poked her shoulder with it. She pushed me away, and I pushed her back hard, and she fell on the ground. Okay, this is not- this is not going well. This is just- it's not going well. She held her arm and screamed in pain. Tiffany and I freaked out and ran away. The girl later complained about us, and Tiffany and I were called into the principal's office. To make matters worse, Dad was there. He was so disappointed. Yeah, you pushed a girl over. You weren't letting that poor girl go to the bathroom? The oh, yeah, and you didn't let her be- <laughs> Right. <laughs> this isn't how I raised you, Cece. A bully? Mm. Who are you? His words made me realize what- Wait a minute! Who are you? I'd done. I had tears in my eyes, and the way Dad looked at me broke my heart. I didn't mean to. I shouldn't have- Oh, cut it out, Cece. I tried to stop her, but she wouldn't listen. Oh, cut it out. She didn't deserve to pee, and you know it. <laughs> what? Oh my god, you started it, you lying jerk. All of a sudden, Tiffany pounced on me and pulled hard oh. at my hair. She was suspended for a week and then removed from the cheerleading squad. I felt guilty and went to the girl to apologize. Luckily, she forgave me. And then they became bestest of friends. A few days later, we were invited to the school quarterback Ashton's birthday party. And Sean- The school quarterback Ashton's birthday party. And I danced like crazy. Feeling sweaty, I went to the bathroom to wash my face. And just as I looked up in the mirror, right. Tiffany came and shoved ah! my face in the ah! sink. Ah! <laughs> She's back and now she waterboards people. <laughs> you two-faced witch. I screamed and pushed her away, making her fall on her butt. Are you crazy or what? But when I turned, I noticed she was looking at me like I had a pair of horns on my head. Oh, this is good. This is good. You got two different eye colors. Oh, you just wait till I tell the others about this. OMG. So this is what they were talking about. You hit it well. While I was suspended, I dug up information on your previous school and talked to some people. Turns out you this? were quite popular for being bad luck. OMG, my lens, they must- This is not how high school works. These, the people who write this story have never been to school. Must have fallen out in the sink. Okay, so here's the deal. Leave Sean and I'll keep your secret. He already knows which and you have a boyfriend. Why can't a girl have two? He's your cousin, so- Oh, wait, what? Hold on, I zoned out hardcore and then I just sort of zoned back in? Is she talking about dating her cousin? What, and he knows about the weird eyes, but the rest So what? Don't. I talked to your old classmates and they all think you're a freak. It won't be much different here. Trust me. <laughs> She's like, dude, you got two different eye colors? Mm. Anyway, I'm going to start uh, dating your boyfriend, my cousin now. You freak, eye color freak. You're weird. I had no choice but to agree. I didn't want things to be like they were at my old school. After that, I quietly left the party. Sean kept calling me on my cell phone, but I didn't pick up. The next couple of weeks were awkward. Sean tried everything to talk to me. He was constantly Hi. following me and asking if he'd done anything wrong. Hi. I told him to just leave way? me alone. To Leave me alone! I'm a monster! Go and date your cousin for all I care! Convince him that I wasn't into him, I kissed Ashton one day when I knew Sean was watching us. <gasps> Sean looked defeated. 
I knew his heart was broken, but so was I. Tiffany was by his side and held his hand with a wicked smirk on her face. I hated her. The very next day, I was sitting in the cafeteria when Tiffany suddenly came and knocked my sandwich out of my hand. <sighs> Dude, what did the sandwich do to you? And then squished it with her foot. I just heard. You were made head of the cheerleading team. I think you should turn down the position. Don't you agree? Because... <laughs> There's your resignation. <laughs> and you must sign it in blood! Otherwise, you know what happens. OMG! Now she was blackmailing me OMG. to leave the squad? That was it. I was done with that bully. I stood up and shoved her away. What will you do if I don't? Tell everyone my secret? Wait, let me help you. And then I climbed onto the cafeteria table. May I have your attention, please? It's true! I have an eye that's a different color. I know. I'm a monster. I want to tell something about myself that I've been hiding from all of you. And then I removed my blue lens and threw them at Tiffany. Yep, I've got... <laughs> they go like 10 centimeters and fall to the ground. <laughs> They're like light as air. Odd eyes. I'm freaky. Want to come and take a closer look? Go ahead. But the reaction from my schoolmates was not what I expected no, at we all. Love it. OMG, Did I always wanted to us. see someone with odd eyes. CC, that's so awesome. We it love just your makes eyes. you look 10 times cooler. That's Everyone true. complimented my eyes. Whoa. I was the Whoa, center of attention. Eyes. And Dude, Tiffany was screaming with anger as she left the cafeteria. But all I could think about was Sean. I was searched Sean. for him everywhere, and when I found him, I immediately hugged him and started crying. I'm so sorry I hurt you, Sean. I was so stupid and foolish that I let Tiffany blackmail me into driving you away. But it's only because all my life, my mom and other people have made me feel like a freak. Hey, don't- You're not a freak. You're not, okay? And if you were, it wouldn't be because of your eyes. <laughs> Cry, it's all right. I told you before, you're not a freak. Cece, you're the most amazing girl I've ever met. And then it happened. I looked up at him and he kissed me. I was back to going around with Sean now and Tiffany looked crazier than ever. A few days later, we had a soccer match in school. Right at the end of our cheerleading routine, we were in the pyramid position and I was on top when I felt something hit my head. I lost oh. my balance and was oh, about no. to hit the ground. Oh, we got like a... <laughs> We got like a quick follow-up story. They could have ended it there. It was like the after-credits scene. The other cheerleaders caught me just in time, and they started screaming. OMG, it was Tiffany. OMG. Yeah, I saw her throwing a- well, I mean, we all, we all knew it was Tiffany. Stone, she's a psycho. I knew Tiffany hated me, but this was next level psycho. Like a raging bull, I charged towards Tiffany and we both <laughs> fell on the ground. You witch, why can't you just leave me alone? Leave you alone? Oh, I will destroy you, Cece. You I'll destroy you. It's over, Tiffany. I have the higher ground. I'll kill you. <laughs> you became the cheerleading captain and you got Sean? <laughs> no, no, no. Not on my watch. Sweetie, it- Uh, he was my cousin first. <laughs> it's already done. The cheerleading squad had called the principal and Tiffany was expelled. When I got home from the game that day, Mom noticed I wasn't wearing my lens, and she flipped out. You've been going around like this? God knows what bad luck is going- What if people see you? Going to come my way now. Go wear your lens. It makes me sick looking at you like this. You know what, Mom? Don't Something look at wrong me. With her. In fact, don't talk to me either. Just pretend I don't even exist. I'm just so sick of your stupid nonsense. All my life, you made me think- they didn't have to add that he was her cousin. <laughs> I don't know what that what that whole story all I, was about. I'm some kind of freak, but the only abnormal person I know is you. How dare you? Mom lifted her hand to slap me, but before she could, Dad caught her eye contact caught fell. her hand and pushed oh. her away. Pack your bags and get out. What? Get out before I call the cops. You've hurt mm. my daughter long enough. I'm not putting up with you anymore. Goodbye mm. and good luck. Mom kicked oh, and screamed, but Dad just threw her bags out. Then Dad hugged me. I love you, Cece, and I'm so proud of <laughs> She's you. She's in the window. I love you too, Dad. And <laughs> since then, our lives have been so much better. Nice. Oh, cool. 
All right, nice then. Yeah, I don't know what the deal was, but the cousin thing that sent like an un an unnecessary story element. <laughs> but anyway, get some of the cute lemon cotton merch. It's got a cute little lemon cotton on it. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs>